there have been a lot of complaints from the Android gaming community about mobile games not being able to be installed on modern versions of Android. Google has been developing a reputation of restricting older apps and games from being installed on newer devices, and this looks to be continuing with the launch of Android 14. It has been confirmed that any smartphone or tablet with Android 14 installed will not be able to install applications or games that target the Android 5.1 Lollipop API and earlier. This is API level 22 for those who keep track of things like that. So anything that targets an Android API older than 23 will not be able to install it on the latest version of Android. Google has been studying the Android malware situation and says the biggest ones tend to target these really old versions of the operating system, with Android 5.1 being released back in early 2015 I can understand their logic here. The company says these malware apps target the older APIs because these phones still running outdated versions of Android are unable to take advantage of modern security and privacy protection features. This is bad news for those who really enjoy older games and for people who still need to install a very niche application. These may be abandoned by the developer, but in many cases, they can still be useful. The good news is that Google has said that if one of these older apps or games is already installed on your device before you update to Android 14, then they will continue to work. I hate to suggest that people load up their phone with ancient apps before installing an update, but this may be important to some people out there, especially if one of these outdated Android applications is vital to your job or is frequently used throughout your daily routine. But if you end up having to buy a new smartphone or tablet that has Android 14 installed on it out of the box, then sadly you will be out of luck if you want to install them from the Google Play Store. I have read that Google is still allowing these older apps to be installed via ADB, so at least there will continue to be a way to install them. I could do a video showing how this is done if there is enough interest in the topic, so let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. I suspect this new change is going to surprise a lot of people after they update their smartphone or tablet. Overall, I could see this only impacting a very small percentage of the entire Android user base, but when there are more than 3.3 billion active Android devices on the market right now, even if this just affects 1%, that could still mean 33 million people end up noticing this change. So hopefully the benefits of increased security protections with Android 14 end up outweighing the negative effects.